Hello and a very warm welcome to Delhi for quarterfinals day at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Event number four on the OSIM BWF World Super Series. This is the second year the India Open has enjoyed Super Series status and this year it holds even extra significance because this is the last major event at which players can gain Olympic qualification points. Well there you can see the whole list of all 12 Super Series and of course the Super Series finals for the top eight in each of the five disciplines qualify for those Super Series finals. Well, as I say, this is the last chance for players to gain Olympic qualification points and it means that there's been very intense competition. We're going to be starting with men's singles and right at the bottom of the draw, the number two seed. Last year's beaten finalist, the Dane Peter Gader, is up against Sean Wan Ho. So, of course, men's singles are highly contested and if you know your badminton, you will know that in the bottom half of the draw also is Chen Jin, who has just moved ahead of Peter Gader in the world rankings. Up to number four in the world rankings, which means, as it stands, he will qualify for the Olympic Games as the third Chinese player, but I'll explain a little more of that later. Now, as the players come on to court, led by last year's beaten finalist Peter Gader, we, I can let you know, of course, that five quarterfinals for you this afternoon. And after this, men's singles will have men's doubles featuring last year's beaten finalists, Pratama and Saputra. And they will be up against the former world number one, Kuan Tan from Malaysia. Uh, then we'll have mixed doubles in the All England semi finalists, Chan and Go up against Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tongkan from Thailand. Following that, another men's singles and the defending champion Lee Chong Wei will be up against the former world and Olympic champion Taufik Kiria. Then the last of our five quarterfinals this afternoon, the defending champions in the women's doubles, Maeda and Suetsuna from Japan. They will play against the home favourites, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist Dwala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa. So we've got a great lineup for you this afternoon on quarterfinals day here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. The players on court for the first of these quarterfinals. And the Dane, Peter Gader, well, he's a lot of points to try and defend from last year. Of course, he was beaten finalist a year ago, lost out to Lee Chong Wei in three games in a thrilling final that lasted over an hour. Well, Peter Gader is 35 years of age, born in Aalborg in North Jutland, in Denmark, of course, and number two seed this year or so. His world ranking gone down one place, and as I was just explaining, Chen Jin of China, having won the Asian Badminton Championships in Qingdao a week ago, has gone up to number four in the world ranking. Well, you can see, He's not had the best of starts to the year. And his opponent, Sun Wan Ho, 23 years of age, uh, so he'll turn 24 on the 17th of next month. And talking of 17, that's where he is in the world ranking. He's the second Korean. And of course, Lee Hyun Il is number seven on the world ranking, so if so Wan Ho wants to qualify for the Olympics to get two players into the Olympic Games in the singles discipline. You both have to be in the top 16 in the world. So I think this could make this matchup a very intense contest indeed. So both these players, two previous matches, of course, draw of 32 in all Super Series events. And for... Peter Gader, his first round the encounter against Brice Levades of France went the full distance as we have a look at our court officials for the first of these quarterfinals. Against Levades, he was lost the second 19-21, but came back strongly in the decider. 21-12 in an hour and 10 minutes. Incidentally, a bit of an incident in that opening game when and a little bit of a technical problem and the lights went out here and it caused a bit of a delay. So I don't think it was an hour and ten minutes of, of actual badminton. That's how long yes, the players, match stop lasted. So his 
second round opponents, I can tell you that Peter Gaida had to play against Samson Boomsuk of Thailand, the silver medalist from the Southeast Asian Games. Now that's ominous if you're a Korean fan. Six previous meetings, all of them going in favour of the Dane. The last time they met was the first round of the China Open last year. And in fact, Peter Gaida had to save a match Ready point pass. in that deciding game before he won through. And Peter Gaida just saying he wanted to shot okay. back to try a serve. So one has Flat won way. both of his previous matches. In Ladies and gentlemen, games, on my right, Peter Gate, Denmark. And on my left, Sean Van Ho, Korea. Sean Van Ho to serve. Love all. Play. Well, how desperately Sung Wan Ho needs to win this match if he's to qualify for the Olympic Games. Number 17 One in the world love. ranking needs to be in the top 16 to get a qualification berth. Love. Oh, a good start by the Korean. Oh, that's super. Lovely deception from Peter Gator. He's so popular One, with all the fans all over the world, and especially here in India. Beaten finest. A year ago. Two a definite drift in this Siri Forta arena here in Delhi. And all the players have been well aware of that all week so far. Me. I was just about to say what a well constructed Sub rally. Door, three on. Oh, it was a well constructed rally. It was just the final shot that let him down. He just snatched at that. He's been a little bit tentative, I have to say, watching him all week. Of course, Peter Gader has been struggling with an injury to his right ankle in recent weeks. It says to me that it's. Still not 100%. 4-3. Had a long chat to Peter Gado earlier in the week, and he was telling me that he's really beginning, for the first time ever, to feel his age, 35 years. He's only just got out of the world's top four. That's remarkable. He's gone wide. 5-3.
a good angled shot once again from the tall day. Savisova, four, five. Judgment. Sabisova, six, four. One of the six previous occasions that these two men have met each other. Four times it's been the, the full distance, gone to a third and deciding Sabisova, game. Sabisova, five, six. Oh, three tight matches. spinning net shot that really did the damage forced the high lift and then the opportunity for Peter Gaeta to play his angled attacking shot 7-6 back into the lead now Lacking in confidence, his play around the net. And for so many years, that's been his strength. I guess it's a bit like uh, golf for getting the yips on the putting. Tends to be the older golfers that lose the confidence, lose the nerve. And I think Peter Gaeta has lost a bit of confidence and a bit of nerve with his net play now. <coughs> yep. so Adjusted his shot. He's oh. already hit a couple long of that back line. Deflecting the shuttle enough to make it very awkward for Gaeta. Trademark shot. Sabitovo, nine, yeah, and a oh. little smile from Peter Gator. Good smash from someone who then all.
11-10 interval. So it's the young Korean who has the advantage. Just one point in it, though, at the mid-game interval. Six tournaments, previous tournaments for Sun Wan Ho this year. And this his third quarter-final for Peter Gader. Five previous tournaments, and this only his second quarter-final for a man that's been so consistent in getting to the latter stages of tournaments over the year, over the years Fourth that he's one, been playing. That really Fourth is quite one, remarkable. I remember a couple of years ago, 2010, played ten tournaments that year. Peter Shot Gader down. and reached at least the semi-final in all ten of them. And that is remarkable. That includes all England and World Championships. 11-10. Phenomenal athlete. Play. The control ten. from the front of the courts by the Korean that really did the damage. Look, he's taking it early, racket arm outstretched, the little hold and flick deep into the Dane's forehand corner. Well, both 11, men will be 12. very aware of the importance of control at the front of the court. Get the better of the other on the net shots. And that's why they're going for such close, tight exchanges. Clearly in. Just brushes across the shuffle there. Yeah, well, I say clearly in. That was plumb on the line. Much closer than I thought. Nice placement. Service over, 13, 12. Service over, 13 all. Service over. 
again. It's the tight spinning net shots from someone hope. 15-13. He did well because he slipped his lunge leg as he came forward to the net. Kept his balance though. Someone hope. And again, just asking the umpire. If the court can be mocked of the perspiration. Umpire. Pindersen. Thank you. Both players taking the opportunity to tail down. Yes, please. Of course, hot, humid conditions here in Delhi, but air conditioning. 15 13 play. Arena. And that is why the players are having to contend with a little bit of a drift. very surprised by Peter Gator's tactics 13. in that rally. Must have been five or six shots played deep into his opponent's forehand corner before he then brought him forward to the net. Three-point cushion now. The difference that we've had so far in this opening game between these two players. And they're not the long. So I'm so well, 14, 16. Clever play from someone hope. Yeah, that's where age starts catching up with you when you have to twist and turn and lunge down low to retrieve the shuttle. the net I think I'm not sure we'll see from that no couldn't tell what the problem was Again, tight spinning net shot. Peter Gader forced to lift the shuttle. Doesn't have the confidence to play the net again. Having played one, then lifts the second. Play. And li lifts long of that back line. Oh, long way long. Nineteen fifteen. Two points away from the opening game now. The Korean. Never won a title. Three times he's been in finals. One final a year for the past three years. But never actually won a title. Oh, 
Oh, oh sending a message, and that was real Sub determination from 16, Peter Gaeta. 19. Yeah, determined to send a message to his opponents. Not done yet at the net. You want to have it all your own way. Expecting the backhand flash. 17 19. Yes. Popper. Now yeah, it was the angle one across court that did the initial damage. And then the body shot always so effective when it's been mixed up with the angle ones down the Thank line. You. Seventeen nineteen play. Time the body smash at Gator. Very effective too. Three game point opportunities for someone who yeah, well they're both using the body smash now. 18-20. You always like to play an attacking game as Peter Gaeta. Typical singles tactics. 19, 20. Use every inch of the courts, push your opponent to the back, then bring him forward, make him move the diagonal. That's the furthest distance to run. So deep in the forehand corner, and move him to backhand net. He just hasn't got the speed to get there in time. And two game points saved by the number two Play. seed. And he saved the third. Super play. Indeed he can. It's 20 all. 20 all. Well, of course, we will require extra points now until there's a clear two point winning margin. initially from Sub Peter Gaeta across court, 21, uh, being short, this is the one, plays himself into trouble, first open up for the straight smash, all he could do was block straight, and someone who was very aware of that, so for the Korean, Play. now a fourth game point opportunity. Oh, 
Look at that battle from the net. So we saw it was a right shot to oh. play from the Korean. But execution Sean. not to match the idea. You're going to have a quick problem. Full stretch the Dane down on one 22, knee. Got up again so quickly, but his block was just too loose. Oh. Game Thank you. Opportunity number five now. The thing one hope. Absolutely delightful. Savisova, 22 hours. Held the shot to the last moment, looked as if he was going to push it, and then just relaxed the wrist and played the delicate little block. Savisova, 23-22. Well, just get the feeling that this opening game is going to be crucial. Sixth opportunity now to close it out for the Korean. Convert. Well, determined not to get embroiled in a net exchange there, Peter Gator going for the kill. And it means that someone hope has taken the opening game against the number two seed, Peter Gator. 24-23 in 27 minutes of play. Very interesting to me that Peter Gader and all the Danes here without a coach. Uh, Peter Gader, quick change of shirt. Nobody to talk tactics, nobody to give encouragement. All on his own. There's the Koreans here with several coaches. I'm not sure that Peter Gader's lack of coach, no backup staff with Court the Danes, I'm not sure that Court it will necessarily affect him. I know that Peter Gader is vastly experienced, and I know that when he does have a coach, it's very much a discussion process rather than the coach telling him what the coach thinks. It's a two-way conversation, whereas I think with someone hope, and more important that he has his coach with him. Second game, so long game, 27 minutes Play. in duration. 
tough battle. Took it on his sixth opportunity. Gives someone hope. And what's the number two C got left? Well, I was talking One in the long. opening game about Peter Gader and his lack of belief on his net shots now. Suddenly it's all deserted him. Yeah, there's another error. Too long. Aggressive rally from the game. Yavitova, one, two. Yavitova. <laughs> Three, one. Oh, I just didn't see which way it was coming. So many times, if you're a Danish fan. here in Delhi definitely trying to get behind the veteran Dane urging him on that was a super shot reminiscent of the Gaida at his very best Five two. Yeah, it's just not reacting with the same speed to the attacking play nowadays, Peter Gator. It's not to say he won't get it back, of course. That right angle ankle injury has affected his training. Well, I reckon once he's back to full fitness, which hopefully he will be by the Olympic Games and he'll be reacting to those slashes once a day. Six, two. decided on a tactic to really pressurise the deep forehand corner of Sun Wan Ho. Of course, Peter Gaida, three games in his opening match against this lover days of France. Oh, that's landed in. Misjudgment from the Korean. Four, six. Sun Wan Ho on one hand. Won both of his matches against Darren Liu of Malaysia and Tommy Sugiato of Indonesia in two straight games. Yeah. Great length on the shot there from Gaida. Yeah, not even close. Oh, yes. Oh, 
what a difference when he's the one at the next first. Yeah, anticipates well. tight spinning neck shots Six, that we've seen from seven. there. Well, well, he only needs one successful one to restore the confidence. Back level. Seven on. Close the three point deficit. Service over, 9-8. Margins between success and failure at this elite level of badminton. Absolutely tiny. The shuttle there hitting the top of the tape, coming back to the Danish side. Down the line. Sabisova, nine all. Well, Sean. Peter Gator absolutely incensed that his opponent was trying to influence the line judge. One Little the right. yeah. hand signal, perhaps a call. No, it wasn't a hand signal. Play. I'm doing so man ho and injustice that it must have been a verbal call to indicate that he thought it was out but the umpire having a word with both men just calming the situation Ten, nine.
a good rally. Oh, my goodness. Brilliant. Brilliant rally. Both men responding to the other. And their opponents could play. So it's the Dane who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. On a run of three straight points from 8-9 adrift to 11-9 at the mid-game interval. And there you can see no coach just having a little look at the adjoining court. Three courts in action here today on quarterfinals day. There's the kind coach. Quad Encouragement one, as second. much as Quad tactical one, instruction, second. I suspect. Eleven nine play. Missed it. Well, nine. Been smashing straight down the line so well in previous rallies, and obviously just wanting to mix it up a little, keep his opponent guessing. Good at the Ten, flat fast twelve. exchanges. Shorter of the two men, able to crouch down low. Look at that leg power. Keeps his balance. Lovely play. Judge, that was long by a whisker. Goodness me. So so well, a little 11, look immediately 13. from Peter Gaydar up towards the lights here in this arena. Of course, this is the venue for the 2010 Commonwealth Games. public about the fact that he will retire after the Olympic Games. That's not surprising. Given the fact that at the end of the year he'll turn 36. I have to say, the way that he's got behind the shuttle today, someone hope, and his court coverage, I mean, absolutely superb. I mean, being on the defensive, suddenly, gets the opportunity, moves so well to the back of the court to play the smash. Play.
Yeah, uh, there's one of the Gator fans. And there's many of them, I can assure you, around the world. Yeah, I think, yeah, he looked down towards that back line. Did someone hope? Obviously, I'm sure it was definite hesitation. I'm sure whether he should have played the shot or not, whether it would have gone long of that back line. Nice control and all of a sudden Peter Gaida not found his tight spinning net shots but he's found his authority at the front of the court taking the shuttle early stepping in when he can putting pressure on his opponent four point advantage But he's just got it back. And then makes an error on the left. Oh, goodness gracious, he was so far out of position. Guesses and guesses correctly. the reason why Gerda is making some errors on his overheads when he's trying to play a acute angle is the fact that Songwon Ho has covered the court so well today and Gerda knows that unless he plays the perfect shot his opponent's going to get it back yeah, like that and that just proving my point 15-16 That really is superb. <laughs> yeah. Lovely play once again. And he's back level. Four straight points. Both players so aware in that rally 17, of the importance of the points. Now <laughs> listen to the crowd, Peter, Peter. Nordain has got to stop this one. And he wants to emulate his achievements last year in this particular event where he reached the final. Wait, wait. Mm, the tournament referee has come onto court. I'm not quite sure why that is. This Korean coach, when Shuttle going is about to out, he shouted like this. He gave a signal. A few times. Just mm. Well, that's interesting. The umpire called the tournament referee and said that he believes that the Korean coach is telling Sungwon Ho when the shuttle's going to land out and telling him to leave it. Of course, in badminton terms, the coach is allowed to coach in between rallies. What they're not allowed to do is call out while the rally is in progress. So 
not convinced that the tournament referee actually had a word. Storm wording while we're so Korean coach. Well, just listen to the crowd's reaction there. No question who they're supporting. I said he needed to stop that run of points and he's managed to do it. But those five straight points have brought the Korean right back in this. Absolutely level now. It's interesting, 18, someone holding that rally. The net exchange was backing off from the net. He knows that the game has lifted so many shuffles. He's not expecting a net shot from Gerda. And that, to me, was a tired-looking shot by the Dane. Three points away from his first ever victory. Over the number two seed, Peter Gader. Mustn't think about that. Focus at one point at a time. Yeah. Uh, easy to say that. That's the thought when you're down on court, I can assure you. Those sort of thoughts inevitably do go through your mind. Six previous meetings, never beaten the day. Who knows, this is a golden opportunity to break that gut. Yeah, nicely done. So Korean teammates near me applauding loudly. Points from the victory in one hope. Oh, that's what they close. I talked about that earlier about the margins between success and failure. And today, Shuffle hitting the top of the tape. They're falling back on the Danish side of the court. And now, someone hope has two match point opportunities. He's missed it. Seventh time lucky as far as Sun Wan Ho is concerned. And Peter Gaida applauds the crowd. He's enjoyed his time here by at the Sean Indian Bell Open. Hall. That's for certain. Had a wonderful tournament 18. a year ago. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Decided he wanted to play the event again. But a beaten quarter finalist in 2012. He takes leave of the court as we see confirmation of the scoreline. 24-22, 21-18 in 52 minutes of play. Well, so many of his fans will want the autograph of Peter Gaida. And that will be valuable, I can tell you. He's been such a great player over the years. Five World Championship medals, five gold medals from European Championships, All England champion, semi final of the Olympic Games. The list goes on. But he won't be gracing these courts anymore here at the Indian Open. Not the last we've seen of him, though. He'll certainly be at the Olympics. And he'll certainly, we hope have fully recovered from that ankle injury.